Here's the deal. Blessing to all y'all. I hope you don't leave. I love you. Okay, Chris well, Lambert, we love you too. And we, Tim, all, all y'all right. all y'all people who are trying to help us. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Show it. Show it. This is the worst area, a lot of people say, in Detroit. But it's also home, the zip code, to the highest population of youth in Detroit. Stop! Violence! Stop! Violence! Because someone has to care that entire blocks of a city are evaporating right before your eyes. Over the last year, I've had the opportunity of documenting many efforts to restore hope in Detroit's Osborne neighborhood. Growing up in Detroit, blight wasn't a part of my childhood, but today that's a common perspective for many youth in the city. Join me, Walter V. Marshall, as I narrate an unforgettable journey into the heart and soul of the Osborne community. And people are coming to the city and restaurants are opening up, people are moving in, businesses are coming, and that's how it starts. But I am a firm believer that Detroit is going to be vibrant. And to hear the high school students excited about their new library, their new cafeteria, uh, their new gym, hundreds of houses boarded up in the neighborhood. This is the way the city is going to come back, with the cities, the neighbors working together. Hey, I'm happy to say, and I'm proud to say, we had the highest number of youth and residents from Detroit than we've ever seen, ever. So for all that you have done, both the residents, our friends, our neighbors, and folks from across this region, we say we thank you, we love you. Life in Osborne.